A beer tote is a great gift idea for almost anyone. In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make one. I started by making a template of all the pieces I would need, starting with the bottom, then the two sides, and also the handle. I then transfer the template onto some wood. This wood is actually reject sign wood. What I mean by that is my wife used to make uh, handmade signs for people and this was some of the work that she didn't end up using. I used the miter saw for this and I don't recommend it but this is uh, a way that I did it. Uh, you can also use a band saw or um, a circular saw. Now that the bottom piece and the two side pieces are cut, I'm going to mock it up to give you an idea of what the finished product will look like. Now on to the handle. Many uh, people who build these types of uh, beer totes often use dowels for the handle. I try to get a little creative and uh, this is what I came up with. It looks a little bit like a suitcase handle. I spent a lot of time sanding the paint off of the reused sign wood. Obviously, if you're using clean lumber, yeah, this step isn't required. With the belt sander, I'm using 80 grit to remove a lot of the paint material very quickly. I then finish it later when I sand with um, 110 grit and then 220 grit with the palm sander. You won't see all the, the sanding because sanding is rather boring to watch, but I did step it up from um, a coarser grit down to a fine grit like 220. I used hardboard to create these dividers that would actually separate the beer bottles. More details on dimensions and instructions are going to be provided in the description below, so check that out if you want more detail. I sprayed on a polycrylic finish to seal the hardboard. Hardboard when exposed to water will, uh, will expand and get damaged, so this is to prevent that from happening. Now it's time to measure and cut out the side pieces. I use quarter inch thick poplar wood for this. Just like the rest of the project, I used brad nails and glue to attach these sides to the main beer tote. I used a Minwax stain colored special walnut and applied it using my favorite method of using a two inch foam brush and gently uh, putting on a coat and then wiping it off with a shop towel.
After applying a coat of polyurethane and letting it dry, it was now the final part, actually adding the bottle opener. I'll put an Amazon link in the description where you can buy one of these openers. And here's the final product. I will say this is a fairly straightforward and simple project that most people at the novice level can, can complete very simply. Um, the great thing about these beer carriers is there are so many different variations you can see online. You can take a combination of those uh, different characteristics and make something of your own with your own flavor. If you like this video, please take a moment to click the like button. Also consider subscribing if you like content similar to this. I will see you on the next project. Thanks.